This is Movie Turn. Leslie Mitchell reporting. William Richard Morris, first Viscount Nuffield, was born in 1877. A man of humble birth and simple tastes, he was to walk with princes and become one of the most famous and most respected figures of our time. Nowhere was his name better known than in Oxford, where he started with a bicycle shop and a capital of four pounds. Business prospered, and he opened his garage business soon after, designing his first car in 1910. From this primitive assembly line of more than 50 years ago, the redoubtable bullnose Morris began to roll onto the roads of Britain. Such were the foundations of the great Nuffield organization, which was to produce cars at a rate even its far-sighted founder could scarcely have anticipated. And here at Cali, where his first cars were built, he kept his own office to the last. As time passed and demand increased, thanks to his guiding genius, work was created for tens of thousands. If ever a local boy made good, it was William Morris. From a capital of four pounds to the responsibilities of a vast fortune, he was created a Viscount in 1938. Lord Nuffield made millions and gave millions away. His gifts, which have been estimated at more than 27 million pounds, reveal his special sympathy for all who need medical care. His millions also assisted research, education and sport throughout the Commonwealth. In his hometown of Oxford, his endowments perpetuate the memory of a great man, one who knew supreme success, but who never forgot those less able or less fortunate than himself. The college at Oxford that bears his name proclaims his deep concern for the education of generations to come. His life was a supreme example of work well done but his success never overshadowed his humility. He'll be remembered not so much for the millions he made, but for the genius of his generosity. Visiting Gibraltar, 